Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode here at Larry's Orchids. Today we're talking about Vanda baskets. And what is a Vanda basket? And how do you use it? What do you use it for? Are there any other uses? Um, all that kind of stuff we're going to cover. So, I'm feeling a little bit claustrophobic here. So let's go through them, and, um, and we'll go through the different ones here. First off, I'm gonna start with the ceramic uh, Vanda basket here. This is a very popular choice, but since it's so um, fragile, we only sell it in our retail stores. So that is our ceramic Vanda basket. This is just a uh, four inch uh, Vanda basket here. Now, when it comes to plastic, a lot of people wanna go with the plastic simply because um, with the wood, it will break down. Plastic does not break down. So we sell the plastic in an octagon uh, Vanda basket here. We have different sizes. They are not sold in a set, so you have to buy the specific size that you want. You also need to check the description for how many you're going to get because the small four inch Vanda baskets, you get more than the 10 inch Vanda basket. So check your descriptions for those. They are also not, there's also, by the way, no wire included in these Vanda baskets. With the Vanda baskets, we have a beautiful Vanda here, and oftentimes we like to just sit it right on the table. So, you know, wherever that sits, it'll set. And sometimes the wire can prohibit that. So we sell it without the wire because so many people have so many different ways of displaying this. Now, what do we put in the Vanda baskets before we go into more, uh, before we go into the wooden ones? We put in the Vanda baskets a sphagnum mix or a long haired coconut husk fiber. We have both here because lots of times people will put either both or one or the other. They work great. For our Vandas, we use a long haired coconut fiber and that is going to give you that humidity because we find that oftentimes you cannot just put one in dry into a basket because we don't have a high enough humidity. If you're living in uh, you know, very southern Florida um, or Hawaii, uh, it's great because you have that type of humidity. However, here in Michigan, we do not have that, that, uh, the ability to even do that. So what we have to do is we have to add something to add that extra humidity um, or kind of um, add that extra moisture near the roots. That's where the coconut husk fiber comes in. We love it, use it a lot, and it works out great. They're, they're living just fine in that, so um, there's a little tip for you. And that's what we will fill our Vanda baskets with. Now, let's talk about the wooden baskets. Oftentimes people ask, what are they made of? They are made of cedar. The cedar will hold up longer. It's a somewhat rot resistant wood. However, we do find that the roots and that combined with the humidity will break down the baskets in about four or five years. So by that time, your Vanda will be um, pretty large and it might even need repotting by that time anyways. So no worries there. It's going to hold up for you. It's a great option and they do come with wire. The wooden ones do come with wire, um, but when it comes to hanging them, what are the options? Here we have a beautiful staghorn fern, which we'll get into what can you put in them because there are so many options. When it comes to a staghorn fern, we have, um, oopsie, drop the, the hanger here. We have a hanger, put in one of the four corners, and the staghorn fern will grow just fine on its edge. See, definitely not hanging level, but it's going to hang down, it's going to drape, it's going to look very beautiful. And it also can be hung by all four corners or just two in a triangular pattern. So there are lots of options there based on the, the plant that you need or the plant that you're hanging. So when it comes to octagon or square, which one's better? Totally based on personal preference. There's nothing that's better, it's just based on shape um, and whatnot. So, uh, but when it comes to repotting, oftentimes we get someone saying, um, Oh, I'd like to plant, uh, I have it currently growing in a square, in a square Vanda basket, and I would like to transfer it to an octagon basket. The problem with that is that the octagon is going to be the square with the corners cut off. That's what makes the octagon. So you have to go up, a, you have to go up a basket size 
if you're going to transfer from a square to an octagon because if you go from an eight inch square to an eight, eight inch octagon, you're actually going to be going down a size because it holds less medium. So if you're going with an eight inch square here, or this is a, a six inch square, you're going to want to go with the eight inch octagon. See, six, eight, you go up a size. And that's going to hold that extra medium there so it's the same amount. Now, when it comes time to what should I put in the baskets? What do you put in these baskets? Well, we sell these very large ones here. Maybe you don't even have an orchid at all. What do you do with them? Simply take either staghorn ferns, you have your vandas, so that's what it's good for, but it's also great for stanhopias because stanhopias will flower out the bottom. Oftentimes, people have these beautiful specimen plants, they've never flowered, um, they've gotten them from a relative, and they never flowered. They go to repot and they find out that the flower is crammed down in the growing medium. Why? Because the stanhopia orchids actually flower from the bottom. So if you're going to have your stanhopia orchids flower, you're going to need some space down here uh, and some holes and some gaps for the, for the orchid to put a, a, a spike through and a flower. So that's going to allow you to grow your stanhopia orchids to bloom. And also, people don't realize that they make excellent, excellent perennial baskets here. Um, if you have annuals or perennials even, if you have flowers that you'd like to hang on your fence line or your patio or porch, simply take these, fill it with coconut husk fiber or sphagnum peat moss, and then put a little soil in the bottom and plant your flowers. This is going to be something that none of your neighbors have. It looks so beautiful. And there are so many different ways that you can uh, play with this. You can even take in the slats, if you have some um, very fine things that drape, you can even um, put the, the plants in the corners here and you can make almost a square box of flowers, which is so cool, especially when it's hanging. So there are lots of different variances. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is how many they come in because that's another question we're going to get. They are not sold in a set, just like the plastic are not sold in a set, they come in one. So like the plastic come in maybe a set of four or a set of two, you're only getting one basket. So make sure that you um, check the description. If you're expecting two, you're going to have to buy two. If you're expecting four, you get what I mean. You're gonna to have to buy four because they only come in one basket uh, per order. So, um, so just order more if you need more. And there you go. That is how you would use, plant, um, decide which ones you're going to use. And so hopefully you will um, unlock your, your brain to the potential of these beautiful baskets and uh, definitely give them a check out. I have put a link in the uh, description box below to them so you can check out the ones that we do have. And also, um, head on over to our Facebook page. If you have any Vanda baskets that you're using in creative ways, please share the pictures. We'd love to see them, how you're creating them uh, in different ways and how you're using them because we know there are so many cool different ways to use them as well. So until next episode, this is Luke from Larry's Orchids thanking you for making us the number one stop shop for all your orchid and tropical needs. Take care, everyone. Bye.